So in this example, in this example, they're asking us to find the secant of pi over 3. Okay? So they're giving us an angle. Now, the easiest way to create a problem like this um, is, is by using our unit circle. So if you guys think of pi over 3, because we need to know where those points are. So we have pi over 3, which is right here, which you guys will need to know before you go ahead and take your quiz. This coordinate point is uh, 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Remember, guys, this is basically a triangle. It's basically like us creating a triangle. But the nice thing about this is the hypotenuse is 1. So therefore, we know that the cosine of pi over 3 is equal to x, right? Is equal to the x coordinate, which would be equal to 1 half. So the secant, or sorry, the cosine of an angle is equal to x. So if secant is the reciprocal, then what should secant be? Yes, Josh? 1 over x. One over x. So if the cosine of pi over 3 is the x coordinate, which is 1 half, then the secant of pi over 3 is going to be 1 over 1 half. Which then you wrap, then you multiply, you can't don't want to divide by a fraction, and you end up getting two, which is just a reciprocal, right? What's the reciprocal of one half? Two, right? 